okay you guys so today's october 2nd yeah it is okay so if you guys didn't know it's a new moon so you should be making your moon water so let me show you how okay get your moon water and put it in a jar and have it facing like the outer side <laughs> and keep it there and then you're gonna write your manifestations in your book rip it out fold it toward you and then you're gonna put it underneath your moon water and leave it there for tomorrow and then tomorrow morning, you're gonna put your moon water in the fridge and you're gonna drink all of it. I mean, it's a lot of water, so just finish it within the week. And that is exactly how you make moon water. I've been making it for a while. Every manifestation that I've written under it has come true, so I'm never too concerned like, oh, it's not gonna come true because I feel it in my spirit. You know what I mean? I feel it in my gut. So I always make moon water, so don't forget. So if you're watching this tomorrow, unfortunately you missed it, but I'll post it on, um, like tomorrow i'll post this vlog tomorrow uh, i was supposed to go to costco but i like lay down after the vlog so i missed it um but i'm gonna go to costco tomorrow and i'm gonna do a full costco not a haul because it's just me right now because like my partner he's not here he's at home we don't live together um so i don't buy a lot of food but i'll buy like what i really want to do is i want to search like the snack area and go through all the snacks with you guys because i know costco has some stuff out and it's like pumpkin spice like the holiday spice season so i want to see like all the new stuff that they have okay i just woke up stretch your legs when you wake up i do every morning sometimes but you should and we got to get to work oh look at these bags chow <laughs> Look at these bags. Uh, and we got to get to Costco. We got to get to Costco. Making my bed. I have the city view. And I have my moon water. And, and you guys saw on the earlier clip how to make moon water. Ooh, I want to lay back down. Ooh, it's so cozy, y'all. This bed is so cozy. So I usually just gather it and um, put it in the fridge. I'm going to take this and put that away. This comes with me. And I'm going to put her in the fridge. Okay, one second. You have my, my fridge? It's so freaking healthy. Um, I know it's like nosy. There's nothing in there. I promise you all this food will last me a month because I don't eat frozen food. Okay, so let me make some space. And let me just show you guys, because it's, listen, I promise you, this, all this, this baking soda, keep it, keep it fresh. This, I promise you, will freaking last me a whole freaking month. I promise. Okay. And, and to prove myself, I'm going to show you guys, look, this ice pack. I don't, I don't freeze anything. And here's my theory why. Okay. Hold on. Sorry about the exhaust. There's no way to turn it off. So, um... I don't put stuff in my freezer because I'll never eat it. I'll never get to it. It has nothing to do with, oh, it's processed, it's this. And sometimes I say that. Sometimes I say, what is that? Chow, it's toothpaste. I, th I thought it was cum. <laughs> it's not. It's no man has been here yet. Um, not yet. Okay, so, uh, but I just feel like with that, with that, um, what's it called? With that, like, I'm never gonna eat the stuff in my freezer. I'll never have time, you know? Cause then you think about it, you got freezer stuff. I mean, you got other stuff you gotta eat. And then you gotta eat the, the fresh stuff cause it's gonna go bad. You'll never get that freezer stuff. So let me just brush my teeth. Okay. So here it is. You're in the cabinet. Sorry, you guys, I have nowhere to put you. I, I, I love y'all, but y'all, I got nowhere to put y'all. Okay, so let me get my coffee mug for the best person ever. That's me and you. Yeah, bread. Okay, so let's make some coffee. I have an espresso thing. Do I want this one? Let me see which one I had yesterday. Oh, it's full. Let me dump it. Hold on. I'm, I'm just trying to alternate uh, coffee. So yesterday, uh, yesterday on the show, we were talking about... Um, we were talking about I think it's like it's like a giant missile hold on let me show y'all it's like a giant missile it's so freaking heavy oh it's also really 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 loud but yesterday on the show we were talking about um 
hold on y'all okay so the coffee part's done but the frother is not hold on i'm gonna show you the frother can you guys see the frother oh it is done not a lion to me ciao okay i know my tv's still on the ground he's coming okay so i got my coffee and i was gonna say something and i completely forgot um oh you guys that's not a, a booger that's just a really long nose hair which i'm gonna trim let me just turn it this way so you guys god does that make it worse whatever so i finally ca got caught up to speed about um uh k-dub's whole situation finally i was listening to some of it last night and it's really heartbreaking like i was like oh my goodness like this is really sad and how it became a topic of discussion on the internet i still don't quite know i guess there's further down the rabbit hole i should go but man like it's really sad all right so i there's no news today the news sucks today um so i'm going to get ready get ready to okay my friend made his moon water okay i just have to be sure i had to text him like did you make your moon water i was reading a text message um so let's get ready to go to costco um i don't want to go to costco like i don't want to sit around and freaking do work all day like i'm not trying to do all of that sheesh okay so let's let me do my skin my skin is oh is it my skin or is it <laughs> is it my my is it my mirror it was my mirror okay so we're still gonna do our skin today um is there something in my eye no there's nothing in my eye okay so um Oh, at, tonight I'm going to, I'm going to show you tonight. I'm going to do my, um, I'm going to wash my hair and I'm going to get you guys kind of caught up to speed with this sacred journey. So, um, it, and I have braids, so I'm going to be, I think I'm like the first person to like probably produce content like this. So I bought the full sacred collection and, um, I'm going to keep these braids in my next hair appointment is like October 25th to get my hair rebraided with a new braider. Cause you guys already know Arnisha she's um leaving for because she got pregnant her and her partner got pregnant so and they have a home here and they have a home um on the east coast so she's just officially moving to the east coast so i let me just let me just start the story from the top okay so my hair braider arnisha is moving to the east coast i bought the full sacred collection so that i could take it to her salon so every time I take my braids down she does my wash so to do my wash and all that other stuff so she's like well I'm I'm leaving so I won't this will be the last time to do here this was the last hairstyle she did for me so I found another hair braider here in the uh Santan Valley if you will and uh I'm going to be washing my hair with sacred once a week and then um using this uh this is the moisture seal the moisture seal if you guys can see that and i'm going to be using this for the next like six weeks on my hair while braided and i haven't seen anybody produce content like that because um i wash my hair when it's braided because my braider just knows how to do it or my none of my braids slip out or anything like that so i'm going to be using this and then when i'm when i get to my final wash i'm going to take the full set to my braider for her to wash my hair with all of these products and leave it there with them so that anytime I come in to get my hair braided, my products are there. Okay. So um, I don't know, you're like, you're gonna leave. Yes, I'm gonna leave my shampoo with my braider. It's this is stuff is not that expensive. So if she inadvertently uses it on somebody else and it's empty when I return, she'll be replacing it. Okay. Um, but also too, tomorrow, not tomorrow, but Saturday is Arnisha's baby shower. So that's why I have to like go to Costco, get gas find something for a tiny baby I don't even know what to get her like I need you guys' help so please leave something in the comments like where should I go and I have to you know me I'm so late so that and then Friday I'm going to have drinks with friends and then Saturday is the all white out game at, at the university so um, me and my partner we have um season tickets so we go every single football game um, and I'm, we've been like debating whether we want to upgrade our seats to like super nice seats. And I think we should. I told him, I said, I think we should. I'm too pretty to be sitting in the nose. He's had these seats for a decade. We've been together almost five years. I know. So on and off, on and off. <laughs> I know for five years.
five years. So, um, so he's had the seeds for about the half the time he's known me until then. Okay, so let me get, put an outfit together real quick. First, moon water. Mm-hmm, so yummy. Yeah, the outfit. Crop top, some jeans. You guys can't really see this. Let me, sh let me take you to the mirror, hold on. Okay, let's take you to the mirror. Hmm. Okay, this outfit. These jeans are from Costco. They're Jessica Simpson, they were $10. The shirt is made well. It's funny. The shirt is more than the jeans. The shirt was like sixty dollars at Madewell, um, but it's it's made well. It's a made well cotton shirt. I didn't iron it, so don't judge me. But yeah, t the jeans are Jessica Simpson, ten dollars at Costco. Okay. Hello. Okay. Um, socks, and then I don't know where to go first. I'm thinking about going to Burlington first. Like, would that be my safest bet? I'm pairing it with these shoes. These are mine. I got to run around all day sneakers. Um, so, um, I think that's like the best bet to go to Burlington first, maybe. I'll let you know when I get there. I got the guest purse. I love this purse. Guest was really in a bag when they made this purse. Now I have to walk over here because remember I didn't go to Pilates last week because I left my wallet. What is that? Okay. <laughs> um, some chapstick, my vape. Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay. Oh, and my other chapstick is my go-to chapstick, the Polite Society. I just need keys. Do I have... I'll be back. Okay, you guys know that I have to do a voiceover because copyright claims, but here's the baby stuff that I had gotten. Here is the stool that I also got. It's really, really cute. Um, I'm going to show you the image of the designer, but it was marked down from $70 to $17. And then you're going to see a really quick clip of my really cute shoes. And then you're going to see a quick selfie of me. So freaking cute. So I was going to go to Costco. Here's the story. I got to Costco and it was the Costco Business Center or whatever that means. Uh, and it had a gas station, so, but I thought it was the other Costco because I'm kind of new to this city. And so obviously I'm not going to Costco. And then I just got back from Ross. I got, you see, can you see? Hold on, there it is. Okay, so I just got back from Ross and they um, had a pair of sandals that I liked. And you guys saw that in the other clip and all the stuff for the baby shower, you know, the thing for Arnisha. And I got all that stuff. That stuff was so cute. I'm like, I could shop there all day for like that baby shower and then i found that chair right here can you see it next to that yoga mat and that bra that i take off um it's a nice chair it was 70 dollars down to 16 i promise you it better not break what i sit on it now i really want okay so you know how like you're at ross and you like see all that food in the when the dirt like when you're checking out and i was sitting there thinking like is this food expired? Most of it was not expired. It was like all up to date. Like most of the expiration dates were like 2025, 2026. And I was sitting there thinking like, damn, I really want some Ross. <laughs> I really want some Ross junk food right now, which means I'm hungry. So I think I'm going to go to Culver's. So come with me to Culver's so I can get some ice cream and French fries. And that should, that should be sufficient. Um, that should be sufficient. Okay, let's go to Culver's. Why didn't y'all tell me I had a double? <laughs> Why didn't y'all tell me my chin, my chin was coming out while I was talking about big back behavior? <laughs> y'all really gonna do me like that? Y'all really was gonna, y'all really was gonna let me up? I uploaded it. I uploaded it because I was, I was, uh, my brain waves was moving. But y'all was really gonna let me just sit there like that with a thick ass chin? Y'all ain't. Okay, I made it to Culver's. I this is what I get every time: a vanilla shake. I can't have chocolate because my heartburn and I got fries and a lot of napkins a lot of napkins a lot of fries okay so I'm gonna eat not on camera I'm gonna eat um I'll be back we got to get home and and sort out all this stuff home and my pants are unbuttoned because I'm stuffed uh but I got the chair don't look at my backside I got the chair and oh it's kind of it's a better angle look how adorable it is it was only $16 oh and here's the girl who designed it this is the designer um I don't know how to pronounce her name but she does have a website and she's um I think she said a woman-owned business like support y'all I see y'all gonna be extra messy today so I y'all know me I like to 
now that I have all this free time, I like to read the DMs that you guys send me. And um, child, they said, not them still platform and slim. <laughs> and he talk about burning people up. Look, I'm gonna keep my opinions to myself, but it's a mess. Everybody a mess who platform, that man is crazy. Okay, 28 karat gold crazy. And you know why that's crazy? Because 28 karat gold doesn't exist, at least not in my world, at least yet. But you know, mm. let's, 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 let's just say, if people do anything for a like and a click, 